Good evening, guys. It's Nick with Travel Far Eat Local, and today I am standing in Wang Prabang on the edges of the Old Town with the Nam Khan River behind me. It's a branch of the Mekong, which is just on the other side of town. And tonight I am having a very special dinner at a restaurant called Tamarin Restaurant here in town. It's special because they have a number of set tasting menus that you can pick from depending on how adventurous you are and your palate. One of those is known as the adventurous menu or the adventurer's menu. And along with that, you can do a market tour in the morning with a member of the staff at Tamarin Restaurant and they will take you to the market and pick out the ingredients for your menu and explain everything and what you're eating, what they're buying. The idea behind this menu is that you're cooking food and eating food that is found in traditional rural Lao homes. Things that you can grow, things that you can forage, animals that you can hunt in the forest. And the market here, the morning market, is staffed by sellers from the countryside, rural Lao, and they bring to the market exactly like that. Things they can grow, things they can forage, animals that they've caught in the forest. And so this morning I went with Kum from Tamarin Restaurant and he took me through the morning market, picked out our ingredients for tonight, and that's where I'm going to take you right now. So it's evening right now, but let's take a step back in time and go to the morning market today in Wang Prabang. <laughs> Prabang, standing outside of the morning market here. It's 6.45 in the morning. About to go meet my man Kum from Tamarin Restaurant and he's gonna walk me through the market and we'll see what we find. We're gonna pick out the ingredients for dinner tonight at Tamarin and pretty excited to get in there because these are villagers among local people from the surrounding region that come to sell their produce, their livestock, um, things that they foraged, animals that they've caught in the in the forest. So. Yeah, pretty pumped to see what we can find. But I'm gonna head over to the market now and uh, get in there. Okay, good morning. First, I want to introduce myself. My name is Kim. I am a tour guide for you today. Okay. So this market is we call it the morning market. Okay. Also, this market is open from uh, 5 a.m. in the morning to uh, 11 a.m. Okay. Most people come to sell this ma this market is from the countryside mm -hmm. for the food and. Uh, vegetable is more organic because they grow by themselves and they come to sell this team market and then when they feel it and they come back to the hometown. Hey. That's good. It's already getting super busy. Yeah, this is a we cook with a stick of rice, purpose to with some the coconut inside, we put inside a bamboo and then we come to roast it. A lot of people use it for like a this sauce. Ah. This one here is a buffalo skin. Buffalo skin, yeah. nice. This one is, is a, we call it a uh, chili wood or pepper wood. Okay. That's the wood we call it from the forest. But you know, when we cook this lot before, we cook with the stew. Yeah. We have to take up the skin here and then we uh, come to boil. It's about a uh, half hour. And oh, when okay. you taste that, it's got like a uh, pepper, uh -huh. spicy, similar like a season pepper. Okay. That's one, yeah. So this is actual like tree bark? Like the tree bark, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's from the forest. Ah, yeah. But it tastes like Sichuan pepper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And here is the ginger. Yep. That's one here, the chili we have that is. This is the red one. And this one is a, we call it a bird eye chili. Oh, this is the bird's yeah, eye chili. Yeah, it's red, it's smaller, but it's very spicy. This yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, like a, that. like a Thai chili almost. Yeah, okay. This is like a snail. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like so this is the snail. Okay. This one the tonight I will cook this. I will to cook the snail for you. Mm -hmm. That's we cook with the uh, stir fry with some the uh, oyster and with some the uh, ingredient. Oh, yeah. It's really good. It's smaller. It's more tasty. 
Boah. <laughs> so, the, so this one here, this week is called like a, it's a local plum, like a plum food. Ah. It's a lot of people when we, to cook that we have to take up the skin uh -huh. and then we take the plum to put with some the salt mm -hmm. and hot water and then just one hour and then it's come to the plum, it's come to the soft there. Ah. And then we eat with some the sticky rice. Okay. Yeah. We put some of the sick rice and some of the salt and we put together that and they take off the seed and then you just eat that. Is it like sweet? Um, no, no, not sweet, but okay. it's more like a, like a crispy or something like that. Oh, yeah. okay. This is the Mekong River? Yeah. River seaweed, basically? This is the it's Mekong river uh, weed or seaweed. That's the, uh, the weed from the uh, Mekong River. Yeah. We collect from the weed inside the river from the stone and then we just come to clean and then we just prepare with some of the... We make like a, like a mess like this and then we put some of the sesame seed, garlic, tomato and then we dry on the sun uh. about a few days and then we come we do cook and then we deep fry. Mm. But most uh, local people stay on the countryside, they prefer for grill more than the deep fry. Uh, because even really? the grill is come to more smoky flavor. Deep weed or seaweed, we have a one, one year per one time. Mm -hmm. It's have for the winter season. Mm -hmm. If you keep it dry on the sun, then you can keep it most like one year. Oh, wow. This is a bitter bamboo. Oh, yeah. This now yeah, is yeah, just yeah. come to uh, start the season. Mm -hmm. If the Come for next month, it's come very taste very bitter. It's yeah. not just a come be beginning, it's not too bitter. Yeah. This is for like a senior gummy part. This is a white ball. A lot of people will take some of the fish and then we ferment mm -hmm. with some of the salt mm -hmm. and then they smoke and then they come to dry on the sun about like a, uh, like a one week, two weeks, like this and then to keep last longer and taste more strong flavor. Is it like you snack? Like a snack? No, not snack. You eat with like a, we cook with like a, a stew. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. There's the, like a pickled bamboo. Oh, that to right keep, there. To keep last longer also. They slice uh -huh. and they put some of the salt and then they put in the jar about yeah. a couple of weeks and then it keeps you longer. Yeah. Okay, this one here we call as a betel nut leaf. Betel nut? Betel nut leaf. Oh, okay. Uh, most of people, they use this betel nut leaf for, uh, for chew. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We prefer that we use the lamb stone mm -hmm. and uh, tobacco mm -hmm. to put inside here and they come to chew. Yeah. It's the, before that, we use the lamb stone and tobacco leaf, it's make the taste list, it's fall up. And now the, the local people, they believe they use the tobacco, uh -huh. put in the... In the uh, between the leaf to keep the teeth last longer. Uh, okay. Yeah, and it is in Lao, it is the impolite woman to uh, smoke. Really? Yeah. Oh. To be like a uh, woman is chew and man is uh, smoke. Oh, really? Yeah. So men only smoke cigarettes. Only smoke. Yeah. Only smoke smoking cigarette and a woman only chew. We'll chew the betel leaf. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's okay. so funny. So that's one here. Uh huh. We call it a uh, bayanang. Bayanang. Yeah. Okay. It's not you can uh, see it a lot of people we cook in the bamboo soup. Oh, okay. We take some of the bay, uh, uh, yanang vegetable, put inside the middle water, and then they come to squid together. Uh -huh. It makes water come to uh, dark and green color, and then they boil with the bamboo to get more flavor. Uh -huh. Also, a lot of people use uh, yanang vegetable for cooking and for uh, medicine. Mm. Yeah. It looks like a, almost like a uh, kefir lime. Yeah, 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 but yeah. Not, not quite. Yeah. This is one here. This we call a uh, tart bowl. Oh, when, okay. when, uh, when the local people come to side, they uh, come to season for start for uh, prepare for the uh, live stream, and then we keep some the water come to live stream, and then they. We have this, uh, this one, the tart bowl. This one here, we missed from over there in the box one, we part that. Uh -huh. This one is a fermented fish sauce, local fish sauce. Long people, we take it like a fresh fish, and then they cut, the, they cut it, and then they cut their hand off, mm -hmm. and then they remove for the scale, the husk of the sticky rice mm -hmm. and salt, and then they put in the jar about like a couple weeks or like a many days. Uh -huh. There is now the brown color is from the husk of the sticky rice. 
it's come too too smelly. Mm, and then right. you cannot to be stand here. A lot of the fire come to here. Ah, oh, right, yeah. right, right. Before Lao people, we have a uh, monosodium good the mess. MSG, Lao yeah. MSG, mm-hmm. Lao people, we use this uh, local fisher for flavor instead that, before that. Oh, before MSG? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. interesting. This is the local plum. Oh, this one. This is the plum food. You can be... Uh, you can see them uh, put inside a green papaya salad. Ah. Oh, wow, these are big fish. This is the fish. It's you, from the... These are river fish. Uh, from, from, from the right? Mekong. Yeah. This is for catfish. Where are these right here? Sorry? What is this? Oh, this is banana flower. Oh, it's banana flower. It, this is a banana flower. We have a two kinds of coder. Uh-huh. Uh, one that is the, the the red one we use for like a uh, noodle soup or salad, mm-hmm. and then the dark one we use for the stew. Oh, okay. Yeah. That one is like a uh, eggplant. This is long eggplant. Uh-huh. It's more softer. Usually, long eggplant we use for like a, a barbecue or mm-hmm. make like a sauce, and sometimes it's used for stir fry. Oh, nice. Yeah. So many types of eggplant. Yeah, yeah. That one here. You see that. This is a devil weed. What is it? Devil weed or seaweed. Before oh. we have like a dry one and this yeah. fresh one. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. This is a fresh one. And then you have to you know, t- take off from the devil that you have to uh, come to clean and take off something like a uh, turkey inside here and then uh-huh. they clean and then they prepare like that. Or sometimes they cook fresh. Yeah. And so they go. That's what is that's what is we tonight we will cook for you to taste that. Okay. Yeah, fresh devil weed. This is the the air buffalo or the the, the nose of the buffalo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, just the nose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buffalo That's... is the most common meat, right? In Lao? Eat a lot of buffalo. Sorry. You eat a lot of buffalo. In we Lao. eat a lot of the bu- buffalo yeah, in yeah, Lao. Yeah. This is that they gotta eat the buffalo, they burn and then we mash, they make they take up the the wool or something, the wool lens and then that is it. Uh, the color and variety of produce on offer in this market is pretty incredible. So many greens, so many fruits, oranges, reds, they just like pop out of you. It's really amazing that even in the dry season, they're able to acquire all of this produce and all of these vegetables and fruits. That's what I saw you before. Mm-hmm. This is like a local plum. Oh, those plums. The plum. Yeah, so you we take up the that is one, and then you take up the skin and they put some hot water and then some of the salt, mm-hmm. and then they keep for one day for ferment. Ah. When we eat that, it's like a the country, the country when you eat with the rice. This is the red. Usually, a lot of people we make like a stew. Really? Yeah. 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 This tonight we buy this one to cook for you for the stew. Okay. And then we uh, add with the uh, uh, spicy wood or chili wood. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. To taste for you tonight. Uh. Like the wood that we... Yeah. yeah oh, like okay, that, yeah. okay. All right, that'll be my first rat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we finally come on this uh, uh, skuro. Oh, wow. This is skuro. So these are like... From the forest, right? Yeah, from the for- yeah, forest, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, from the forest. Like small forest yeah. squirrels. Yeah. Oh, okay. kefir limes, right? This is kefir lime fruit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they got the bat. Go this way. Oh, yeah, the bat. Got the bat. Hi. 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 Hi.
Okay, so this is the for the is bad. Mm -hmm. We will cook this one for you uh, tonight. This okay. one, okay? We cook the bad. Oh, you need it. Wow, you need it. Okay, so that's good. Mm -hmm. This is a jack food. What is it? It's jack food. Oh, that was, yeah. That's yeah, the jack food. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah, jack food. Yeah. I wasn't sure like, if it was. Uh, this smell like a lulian. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, let's go this one. Mm -hmm. This is. Oh, yeah, I've seen these. Eggs. Yeah. Pink egg is dry and ferments. They use for uh, Chinese cooking. Oh, okay. Uh, have you seen like uh, when you go to, in the street street foods? Mm -hmm. They're selling for the uh, white egg number. Okay. This number is like a white egg number. Uh huh. Is it mean like um, the egg is a development mm -hmm. for uh, of the egg? This is number three is it like a uh, fully firm. If oh, number one is have like a just half deck and half like a half deck and an eye. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, okay. So it's yeah. about like how far along. Yeah, it's right. Developed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Baby shrimp. Okay. We will cook that tonight for you. We put inside the banana leaf mm -hmm. and then we some the herb mm -hmm. and then we take some that grill. It's come to smoky flavor from the banana banana okay. leaf. And these are like crickets or something or? Um, or this is a, it's not like a cricket. This is something uh, the bark is inside the river. Oh, they're from yeah, the river too. Yeah, the river. I see. Yeah. This one is a bitter bitter flower, bitter leaf. Mm. You can taste that even. Just take one little bit. Yeah. This one is very bitter. It can be see stop the uh, uh, malaria or really? lung, or uh, flavor. Oh yeah, it's very ooh, very bitter. Very bitter. <laughs> I don't like oh, it's so bitter for me. <laughs> very dry too. Yeah. <laughs> it sticks to your mouth. Wow, that's really bitter. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so this is this local research. This one is made from sticky rice and banana. Ah, that is you want to come to test. You can yeah. take one here. This is for test. And quite well, Tony. Quite well, Mmm. It's very nice after that bitter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> when you see all wrap like this, mm -hmm. it's always pork. Oh, really? Yeah. Like if we call like a pork, uh, sour pork. Okay. Is That's it cooked or raw? Uh, most of people we eat uh, raw. Mm -hmm. If you cook, it's less tasty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a uh, devil beast. Oh yeah. The same one we are doing. They make yeah, like yeah. a powder. This one. That's what is uh, is more tasty. They put some the deep fried, then they have some the garlic and some ginger inside. Oh wow. Yeah, I will get that one for you tonight okay. to taste it. That is chili pass. You know how we call chow bong? This is traditional oh, special yeah. chili in Long mm -hmm. It's made from a chili, garlic, and then we have some of those uh, sauce. Also, we put some of the uh, water buffalo skin inside. Oh, when yeah. the tail, they come to sweet and spicy at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay, so this is pork cream. Like a pork cracker, like a pork cream. Oh, yeah, pork crackling. This yeah. is from the flesh of the, of the pork. Uh, a lot of people we use uh, a lot of people we don't use mass oil. Really? Yeah, but a lot of people we use uh, f uh, f uh, fast pork instead uh -huh. of like oil. That. Oh, usually like pork fat. And pork fat. Yeah, they come too fry and they come too like oil. Then they use them. That's if uh, fast pork instead of like oil. That. I see. I yeah. see. Interesting. So you don't cook with much oil. You don't cook much oil, but oh, mostly wow. there is a lot of people. They uh, countryside. They yeah. say that if they cook like a, the oil from the oil uh, from the soybean, uh -huh. is more less tasty. Yeah. But if you use some the fresh uh, uh, pork fresh here, uh -huh. it's more smelly and more tasty. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Always better to cook with fat. Yeah. Right. 
Oh yeah, the buffalo skin. Yeah. So for the buffalo skin, you can find it in the lao bar. Uh huh. They put a many thing in the menu. Uh huh. Because they say they because the buffalo skin, they put some salt, and then they they keep to ferments, and then they when they keep they have to um, you have two options to cook. They have to deep fry, mm -hmm. or sometimes they 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 roast it or the grill. Mm -hmm. It's more smoky flavor. And then they put in the menu. They say they say if you eat the buffalo skin, it's a because come too salty. You eat more and you eat drinking more beer. Beer lao, yeah. yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect, uh, <laughs> perfect snack with beer lao. Yeah, lau. perfect snack. Then. This big fish. This is a this huge fish, catfish. This fish from the river. Mekong fish. It's from the Mekong fish. Yeah, it's, I cannot believe there's fish that mm. big in that river. This from this is this section here. The fish yeah. is not for all from the Mekong. All it's from, from the river. It's uh, not from the farm. Not from the Mekong. So, okay. not, not not from the farm. Oh, like, oh, not oh, the see, farm see. fish is not like a cheetah all... or something yeah. like this. All here. Quite a little bit. I feel like see. And what was you need to pack? Me need to. Oh, and oh, and Thai me need to. We have Thai. We have pork. 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 This one, let's say that your fish poo and intestine. Okay. Tonight I will cook this one for you. All right. Yeah. Fish poo stew or dip? Like when you will cook that. Yeah. We put inside the uh, ingredient and then we put inside the banana leaf and then we grill. Ah, uh, okay. Then we okay. can grill for you. Basically, like fish innards and fish poop that is cooked in a banana leaf and grilled. You said. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Getting into the fish and meat section. Yeah. This is a sticky rice, the grill, the sticky rice with uh, uh, egg. I put it in the gel. Can you put it in the gel? Okay, so this one is the sticky rice with some of the egg, the grill, right? I will keep that one for you to taste them. This is how people use to eat like a breakfast, something like that. Yeah, like a snack, yeah. Yeah, Hwan Bo. These are all for sticky rice? Yeah. So these are, so, all, these are all different types. Uh, of so this is all here. Okay, this here is sticky rice. Yep. So the sticky rice is the which we which want to know if which one is a sticky rice and this one is normal rice. It should be tell you by the color. Oh, okay. The sticky rice is more whiter. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and like uh, maybe that one. That one is more whiter here. Yeah. So also the, even you touch the sticky rice comes a bit dry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or where they say they tell you by the when you um, before we cooking or after we cooking the stick rice come to uh, clear. And this now here is in Laos we have like a three kinds of the sticky rice. Mm -hmm. We have white, purple, and pink. But mostly in Laos people use the white stick rice for uh, white stick rice and red stick rice here for eating with the meal. Right, right. But this is for the purple rice. This one is purple right here, we use for the lizards, mm -hmm. like a occasion for space so that we use for the lizards. Oh, and it's more and expensive, so, yeah. A lot of people, is a, we are Buddhist, uh -huh. Buddhist. A lot of people, we use the purple right for offer to the temple. I see, okay. This one, I think this is a uh, coincident and think there should be a uh, purple rice. It's a bad color. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pork intestine. Intestine and brain? Oh, this brain. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the face of the pork. Yeah. Like that's the actual. Yeah, that's it, is it? Yeah. So when they come to sell this in the morning, uh -huh. if not finished, and then put some the uh, cover by eye and then keep to sell for evening, it's more uh, come to sell super. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is buffalo one. Yeah, because it's darker, right? That one is yeah, buffalo. darker in color. Yeah. And oh, what similar. is this? The this is a you know, twi twi. Oh, tripes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the, it's like the lamb food we cook with minute. We cook with a uh, buffalo lamb. 
Uh-huh. They cannot miss this one and uh, bite. You know, bite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one is a bite for taste a bitter. Oh, Love yeah. Love likes bitter taste. So in... This is the vial right here. Yeah. This one here. Yep. So Absolutely everything. In Lao, Lao food, about 60% of Lao food is bitter. Yeah, yeah. Because in Lao food, we believe if you, are, you eat a bitter food, it can be a uh, province to stop malaria and mm. reckish flavor. Otherwise, that's a lot of people eat a uh, loss of the strong flavor and that's just the bitter food. Yeah. yeah, okay. The bile, I've never seen that. Yeah. <laughs> they collected, yeah. Yeah. So Every single part in, of the animal. In Laos, it's always easy for the uh, chapter is a woman. Uh, Q is man. I, I see that, yeah. yeah. It's always women butchers. Yeah, butchering is all women and the Q is men. Q, uh, uh, the men is the, wake up in the very early morning and then the Q in the buffalo or pork and then they come to keep for the uh, woman to chop the Q. Oh, uh-huh, okay. So. Using every part, blood, bile. Yeah, yeah eat everything now. Everything. Yeah. Nothing is wasted. <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't do everything that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, sticky the rice, yeah. This is sticky one to cook, and then that's that is the... Oh. Too busy. Too busy, yeah. That's just the intestine or uh, the, the dung of the buffalo or the liver of the buffalo. I they see. come to boil a little soup, and then they go to the noodle soup. Ah. Yeah. Oh, is this bile too here? Yeah, this bile too. Bile and blood. Bile. Yeah. Blood. That's the article of the food. It's for chili pears. Mm-hmm. It's chili pears. Fermented fish sauce, oh, nice. like a local fish sauce. Jao? That's Jabong. Jabong? Yeah. Jabong. Yeah. This will be Jabadak. Jabadak. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's quite strong flavor, yeah. strong taste. I'm going to eat this. 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 I'm going so this is like a, a local dessert they make from the rice powder and with some of the coconut milk. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's one we uh, want here. Oh, yeah. We can keep one. I, can, I will check for a video also. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hold on. Is it hot? It's quite hot. Okay. Okay. Let's get it. This is made from a rice powder with some of the uh, coconut milk and maybe some sugar. It should be, it's quite hot. It's hot? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I... Mm. Wow, that's amazing. It's amazing? Yeah. Okay. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's very it's hot. <laughs> mm. Yeah, very good. Very sweet from the coconut. Yeah. Good. Thank you. I was just asking if there's any animal that Lao people won't eat, and it's cat. <laughs> Everything else is fair game. All right, so what do you guys think of that? Pretty amazing, right? It's awesome being able to go to a market with a local who knows the ingredients, can speak to the vendors, can tell you what you're, what you're eating, what you're buying. It adds so much to the experience as opposed to just walking through the market myself and looking at things and being like, I have no idea what that is, but it looks great. So I'm gonna head over to the restaurant now and start my meal. All right, guys, this is an absolutely gorgeous restaurant. Easily one of the nicest restaurants probably in the Old Town. And obviously starting off with beer lao, ice cold beer lao. 
as always in Lao. First thing we're getting tonight is, an, I guess it's more of a snack than an appetizer, but dried or fried bamboo with kefir lime, which is absolutely amazing. It has like a heavy key lime flavor, ginger infused in it. Absolutely fantastic, great palate cleanser for the meal. All right guys, we're starting off big. So first of all, got a welcome drink here. This is, oh, you told me the name of it, I can't remember now. Mekong Sunset Cocktail. This is made with the Lao Lao. Lao Lao is basically like uh, Lao's like fire water, like the local hooch, if you will. It's like whiskey made from sticky rice. This is basically the appetizer. Two things here. One is the rat soup. This is what we got in the market earlier. We got those like almost look like pre-cooked rats from the forest. That's what this is on the left, which I'm super, super pumped about. The chili's on top. I told them to make it like Lao spicy, like this is gonna be hot. And then this is a duck soup. We didn't get duck in the market today. What's in it is passion fruit greens and passion fruit. Big component of Lao cooking is bitterness and that passion fruit is gonna add like a seriously like bitter note to that soup. I can't wait to try it. And we always eat with sticky rice here in Lao. So I'll be eating the rat with my hands. Let's go in first with the rat. So that rat has really tender meat. Like, I thought it'd be tough because it's like a small animal. It's not. It's incredibly tender, a little gamey, has a really nice flavor. Ooh, that spice too. They really kicked up the spice a lot. Gotta be careful of those little bones. Reminds me actually quite a bit the flavor of rabbit. Can't forget about my welcome drink here. So in this we also have dill, we got spicy peppers, carrots, and this bark, which we saw at the market earlier today, which is like the spicy Sichuan pepper bark that you chew on and it gives you a flavor similar to like a Chinese Sichuan pepper. And there's a heavy bitterness component to this as well because there are these very tiny little eggplants in it that are bitter and almost very dry and tannic, which cuts through a little bit of the gaminess of the rat. Mm. Really, really pleasurable. All right, let's give this duck soup a try. I'm excited to see how this is with the passion fruit. Oh, wow. Wow, very herbal. Ooh and a lot of spice too. Look at how many greens are in this. This is a heavy herbal presence from all these greens. And the bitterness from the passion fruit really comes through. Mmm. When you get a piece of this bark here from the rat soup, honestly, just sucking on that bark is such a pleasure. It adds such a nice flavor profile to this dish. Mm. I might move to the spoon. He said, Lao people would normally eat this with their hands, with the sticky rice, but I'm struggling a bit. Fantastic starter course here. Absolutely blown away so far that you can take a rat and make it taste like that. The duck soup is fantastic, but you know it's gonna be fantastic. It's duck, it's passion fruit, it's garlic, it's ginger, it's peppers, what else can you say? But the, the rat was like, I was like, what are they gonna do with this? How are they gonna make it? That is fantastic, and with the, you know, the, the tree bark, I mean, that's just, man, that is a complex dish and uh, really takes quite a bit of talent to make something like this. <laughs> All right, main course has arrived. Apparently there's two main courses, but this, <laughs> I think it's just gonna be a little sampling of everything because to be honest, this menu is meant for two people, but there's no way I could have passed up an opportunity coming here and not trying this menu. So anyway, let's get into this. What do we have? We got the baby shrimps that we got at the market today. These are raw, served with herbs, chili peppers. You can see all the chili pepper seeds in there. That's gonna be fire. This is pumpkin flour, basically like the, if you've ever held like a pumpkin vine and the flour is like kind of like hairy a little bit, that's what that is. This in the middle, which looks like basically moss. That's Mekong river weed. That was what we got at the market this morning along with these berries, which are these brown uh, things that kind of look like walnuts almost. 
Those were the blue purple berries that we got at the market this morning. We have some deep fried pork, which is wrapped in, I think he said uh, zucchini leaf. Like, And then this is um, buffalo, buffalo with herbs. And then here is the cooked Mekong river wheat. All right, so the first thing I'm trying are these nuts slash berries. I'm not really sure what they're, what, how to say if it's nuts or berries, but the way to do this is you take a little bit of sticky rice and you take the berry or the nut. Oh, there you go. See what I mean? It's kind of like a walnut, but it has the texture almost of like a potato. So you smash this in your hands. You smash this in your hands. Oh. Pop out the seed. Then you take a little sticky rice, put it on top. A little salt. Ooh, that has a very strong flavor that comes on after. Feels like, like a potato. Feels like you're eating a sweet potato. With a similar flavor, but a lot milder. Actually really, really pleasant. All right, let's give this Mekong River weed. I've been wanting to try this since I saw it this morning. Mmm, wow. Very light, very airy. Almost, almost literally like you're eating air, but with an intense flavor of the river. Like if I could imagine like what the Mekong River tastes like, that's what this is. Mmm, fried garlic on top, wow. When you bite into it, it's almost like it kind of just like poofs into your mouth because it's just so light. There's almost nothing to it, but it has such a deep flavor. All right, guys, these are those baby shrimps that we got at the market earlier. Almost like a raw kind of like shrimp salad is what they made with herbs and chilies. Wow, that's fiery spicy. Not a big flavor of the shrimp. Mostly takes on the flavor of the chilies and some of the herbs that are in it, like the cilantro and mint. But really good nonetheless. And incredibly spicy, wow. I need some beer allow for that one. <laughs> and maybe some sticky rice. All right, I'm still recovering from that <laughs> shrimp ceviche basically. And I'm moving on to the pumpkin flour now. This I'm excited for. I've had pumpkin flour before and I've loved it. So curious to see how they prepare it here. Mmm, wow. That is fantastic. Wow. That's basically braised in soy and almost it tastes like mirin. I don't know if they use like, maybe like rice wine basically. With onion and garlic. That is amazing, wow. This is, this is fantastic. And it's a nice non-spicy thing after that shrimp. All right, let's give this deep fried pork a try. So basically this is like deep fried pork. It's pork that's been basically wrapped in zucchini leaf. Just picking it up, I can feel how tender this is. Oh, it's minced. Okay, I see. It's minced and in inside the leaf. Wow, this is, oh man, this is really good. The leaf gives it a nice structure. The minced pork is so tender. That's so flavorful. You can literally taste all of the herbs that are in that. The deep frying hasn't removed any flavor from it. It is not dry, that is fantastic. I'm gonna take a nice healthy dose of sticky rice and try this buffalo. Believe it or not, this is actually my first time trying buffalo. We have it in the United States where you can get buffalo, but it's only in certain areas, on <clears throat> certain parts of the United States, and it's, it's not very common. So buffalo here, from what I understand and what I was told at the market today, is one of the most common meats. I think it's actually the most common meat in Laos. But the problem is that the price of buffalo has been rising steadily over the last couple years and so many people can't afford it now but 
prior to the last couple of years, buffalo was the most consumed meat in Laos. More than chicken, more than pork. Very lean and very heavy on the ginger. I can taste a lot of ginger in this. This is really good. It's almost like a burger patty, but buffalo. Which you kind of expect to be lean, to be honest. All right, last few things I'm gonna try on this plate. This is like a jackfruit curry, which I saw quite a bit when actually when I was traveling through Sri Lanka. And I loved it, so I'm excited to try this now. Healthy dose of chili powder on top, so <laughs> after the shrimp, I'm not sure I can handle this, but very spicy. Dill on top and mint. Heavy flavor of the mint coming through. Oh, the jackfruit just tastes so good. Jackfruit has a very nice texture. It's soft, not quite as soft as like a durian, but similar kind of family. And man, it is just so good. All right guys, last but definitely not least, we have the cooked Mekong River weed. Very interested to try this because the raw was so good and so flavorful. This has a very interesting consistency. It's almost like thick pudding in a way. Look at that. I have a feeling this is gonna be a good dish. I'm gonna try it first without the sticky rice. Mm. Yep. A lot of scallion in that heavy green onion flavor. And then you taste Mekong coming through at the end. This is gonna sound weird, but that almost tastes like spinach. Like when you cook it down and kind of mash it into like a, you know, like cooked spinach, that's kind of what that tastes like. The dry version, nothing like that. The dry version tastes like heavy flavor of the river, almost as if you're eating like a catfish. And, but this is more spinachy. Really interesting how much the flavor can change just by the preparation of the food. All right, so far this has been absolutely fantastic. Basically what's coming next is the snails that we got at the market this morning, which I'm really, really excited about. And I think frog is what he said, and I'm not sure what else. All right guys, we have main course number two has arrived. So, this is an unbelievable spread of food. Let me, let me take you on a walk <laughs> through what is on my plate right now. Okay, this is basically grilled pork intestine. This is frog. You can see the whole frog there. Bone and everything, okay to eat. These are butterfly larva. River crab. These are the snails we got at the market this morning. Really excited about those. These are raw shrimp, almost like a raw shrimp salad. And then In this blackened banana leaf is the fish poo, fish intestines that we got at the market today. It's supposed to be very bitter. And then this is pork that has been steamed in banana leaf. And lastly, a soup or stew, if you will, of baby shrimp. You can see the baby shrimp there. There's its eye. And I'm sure this I'm sure this will have a strong bitter component to it. All right, so you know I'm starting off with these butterfly larvae. I got to give these a shot. Look at these things. I'm actually so happy they have these. I wanted to try these. Oh. Wow. Really, really interesting. These taste like pork cracklings. That's literally what they taste like. They're crunchy. They're sweet. Oh. Oh my God, I could eat a hundred of those. Those are fantastic. Next up, snails. All right, so the way to eat these is to use this little toothpick, get that snail out. Heavy on the butter, chili. Snails are like one of my favorite things in the world. I had these in similar preparation in Vietnam but with like tamarind, 
and corn, which was amazing. These are not nearly as sweet, but they have heavy flavor of butter and there's a lot of chili in there. Mm. And you suck it and it just kind of like pops into your mouth. Wow, really, really good. All right, so these are the frogs. And these bad boys you just eat whole, bone and everything. Tastes like barbecue chicken, it really does. For anyone out there who's not had frog, it tastes like barbecue chicken. These are addictive. You could eat these like a bar snack. All right, this is that river crab. Crab from the Mekong, which, you know, I've not had much freshwater crab in my life. Oh. Mm. Very dry, a lot of ginger. That's something that goes really well with beer lao because it's very bitter, very, very bitter. All right, let's unwrap the uh, fish poo. Get that toothpick out of there. This is something that I am very curious about. I read about this actually before coming to Lao and was very interested in trying it. So this is basically what it sounds like. This is literally fish stool and intestines that have been kind of mashed up together and grilled in a banana leaf. All right, let's give it a try. <laughs> that is a heavy flavor of shrimp paste. That's probably the best way that I can describe the flavor of that. That tastes and feels in your mouth and in your hand as if you are just eating shrimp paste. And I, I, I mean, I literally, when I eat that, I think of the shrimp paste container that I had in my fridge that I used to cook Thai food. It feels like it in my hands, it tastes like it, it smells like it. That is basically like eating shrimp paste. That is identical. Absolutely wild. Really, really good. Very interesting flavors. Not so much for me, but I can absolutely see how that could be addictive after a little while you keep eating it and you're kind of like, this is really kind of starting to grow on me. Like that's kind of one of those things. All right guys, this is the raw shrimp salad. This is a little different, I think, than what I had on the last plate. This is probably gonna be more sweet and a taste of the river than what I had on the last plate, which was very, very spicy and very heavy on the mint. In addition, it's not just shrimp. There were also these like little bottom crawlers that came along with the shrimp. So it was essentially whatever they could get from dragging their nets along the bottom of the river. So these shrimp are like raw, not cooked, shell on, head on, legs, everything. That is amazing. A lot of mint, a lot of scallion. And you just, yeah, very cooling and refreshing. A little bit spicy on the aftertaste too. That is more, that is basically like a raw shrimp salad. There's no other way to describe it with a heavy mint flavor. Really, really fantastic. All right, let's give this pork intestine a try. If you've been following the channel for a while, you'll probably know that bao or tripes, not my favorite thing in the world. But here in Laos, they eat every part of the animal. And when in Rome, this has basically been braised in some kind of like soy marinade and then grilled over open coal or open, open charcoal, or grilled over charcoal. I've had a big beer Lao and the welcome drink, which contained a bunch of Lao Lao, so go easy on me. Oh, and they actually wrapped it around a stalk of lemongrass. 
and it looks like it was grilled with that lemongrass. Yeah, it's probably cut through that awful flavor. Lemongrass, barbecue, soy. Doesn't taste like bao. Doesn't taste like awful. Mmm, wow, this is really good. Classic example. How to take something that by itself doesn't taste good. Find a way to make it taste good. This literally tastes like meat. That's what it tastes like. Doesn't have an awful flavor. Doesn't taste like you're eating bao. This is really good. I could snack on this all night. I'll tell you what though, for my money, I'm going back to the butterfly larva. That is good stuff. Okay, last thing to try on the plate is the banana leaf with pork inside it. I'm not 100% sure how they do this pork. It could be raw, it could be cooked. We will see. I guess step one would be figuring out how to get this um, twine off to actually eat it. so many layers of banana leaf, that's the actual pork there. Ah, yes. Raw pork. Very, very common in Lao to eat raw pork. It's something that you see very, it, it's common in Laos to eat raw ingredients in general. Raw fish, raw shrimp, raw pork, blood, raw blood, even raw bao, you know, raw offal. And so it's just very common in this part of the world. Whatever you think that's gonna taste like, get it out of your head right now. That just tastes like roasted garlic. That is amazing. I could eat that all day long. Yeah, it's raw. That has so much flavor. That is incredible. Man. One more butterfly larva. All right, guys. Absolutely incredible filling and exciting meal here at Tamarind Restaurant. I'm gonna finish my dessert. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my dessert. And I will... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish up my dessert, finish my beer lao, and head out of the restaurant. Absolutely exceptional, adventurous, and exciting meal here at Tamarind Restaurant. I will catch up with you guys shortly when I leave here. Okay, it is super dark. I am literally standing under a street light right now to get some light. But finished up my meal there at Tamarind Restaurant. That was absolutely incredible. Definitely one of the most adventurous meals I've ever had in my life for sure. It takes an incredible amount of talent to make food like rat <laughs> taste good. And Tamarind has figured it out. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this one for the day here. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the market tour. Hope you enjoyed the dinner tonight as much as I did, as much as I enjoyed filming it and showing this to you guys. Trying to finish this vlog and there's just like motorbikes and tuk-tuks like whipping past me constantly. So I'm going to end this for the night, guys. I'm going to go get a nightcap and then I'm going to head home and crash. It's been a long day. It's been a good day, but it's been a long day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good night from Wong Prabang. See you guys.